Welcome to CSC 121 class, Programming 1. In order to get started with Python, I wanted to get started in a terminal environment so we can actually run source file from a terminal or a console and we could also work with the Python shell or the interpreter and rather than do that on a local computer with terminal or PowerShell or something like that, we're going to use Python anywhere. We used it in the spring for our database class and I think it would be a nice place to start here to work in a console environment. So we're going to go to pythonanywhere.com and create a free account. So I'm going to show you how to do that here and this is actually an older video coming right up. So to start off, if you go to pricing and sign up at Python Anywhere, again it's pythonanywhere.com, you're going to go to create a beginner account which is free and when you give yourself a username keep it something simple because it will be part of your databases and part of your URL so don't make it anything too long or any kind of odd saying or anything just kind of try to keep your name part of it I'm gonna do one I'll just put home RCN because it's my RCN account so I'll just call it that for now and I'll put in my email and I'll give it a fairly simple password that I'll remember and you could agree to the terms that you're at least 13 years old and you can register and you may have to validate your account so I'm gonna register right now and they have a quick tour here so I'm not gonna go through the tour I'll give you the tour and it says here you have not confirmed your email address so you can't reset your password or anything so make sure you do that so let me do that quick and when you come here you can just save these preferences it says hints and tips downtime alerts if you don't want any of this stuff you can uncheck this but I'll just keep it checked for now you can even check the newsletter if you want and I'll hit save that's all you have to do when you get to this part and then I'll go back here and just click on my link again and it should update so I'll go back to dashboard just to show you around a little bit there's a dashboard here and you'll see things like consoles files we won't be really using notebooks or web apps and the same links are up here dashboard consoles files web tasks we won't really use and databases and just to show you some things here if you go to consoles we'll be using consoles you could only have two consoles open and that shouldn't really be an issue but notice that you can start a bash console a mysql console even python consoles here we'll talk about that later but you can only have two open so these are the consoles that's the command line one other thing i'd like you to do is if you go into your account and i'll do that here you could go into a place called teacher and if you go into teacher put my username in here and just put in HOMA WCCC and then I'll have access to your account to go in and see your files so that way you don't have to be uploading things and you might have to upload things occasionally but you I'll be able to see your files and help you if you have problems or anything like that so just you're just gonna put in HOMA WCCC that's my Python anywhere username at least as an instructor and I'll check that here hopefully it lets me and that means I'll be able to go in and see your account so that's all you have to do right now to get set up all right I'm back in Python anywhere and I'm in my dashboard and we're gonna do a little intro to the bash console in here now one thing I just want to point out if you go to my Warren and you go to documents and resources you'll see some notes in here for unit one now they're not here right now but they will be here so you'll see notes here under unit one for that when you go in to look at that there'll be a PDF file and it'll look like this because I'm still kind of updating it this is the word document and I'll update this so it is a PDF file so you can just open it up so this will talk about the bash console working with the files run source file all this kind of stuff I'm gonna do right now and this is just kind of just kind of loose this is nothing that's like a real strict exercise it's just meant to give you a little introduction with some of the terms like consoles and terminals which they can be confusing even to me even if you read stuff about it, it's still a little confusing so I'll try to sort that out a little bit so we'll go back here to your dashboard now you can see they have recent consoles remember you can only have two open Open. and even when you work in files in Python it will open a console for you even though you don't have a separate window and another thing I'll mention too whenever you open consoles open them in a new tab so you can always go back to files or somewhere else and that way you don't close out of your console so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at consoles right now and you can see it says Python 3837 all this and then it has bash and it has MySQL which we use for the database course now I'm gonna go into bash right now the bash console the console is like a terminal so if you ever hear the term terminal like on a Mac I can open up terminal here's terminal on a Mac and it looks something like that you could basically interact with your root directories and your hard drives and it's command line you're kind of working command line as a kind of a general term and instead of doing that at home on your own computer they have a bash console here and it's basically working in your main directory 
which your main directory is your username. So my username right now is Homa RCN. So that's what directory I'm in right now. And the prompt is this little dollar sign. Sometimes you'll see a drive as a prompt. I'm seeing this little dollar sign right now. And the first thing I can do here, just to try it out, I'm just gonna go LS. LS means list directory, and that'll be on your notes. And that's just showing me the stuff that's in my main directory. And I only have a readme text. Now, if you had a database class, you might have some more things there. You might see a folder for databases or something, but I'm just seeing a readme text. So that's listing things in my directory right now. And also one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check the Python version. So I'm gonna type in Python and a space and dash dash version to see what version is natively running right now in the bash console and it's 2.7.12, which we're not gonna use. That's an older version. We're gonna be using like 3.7, 3.8, something like that. It, it doesn't matter that much as long as we're not under 3.4. Now, if you wanna change that, you can actually go into the Bash console. Now, we're gonna be creating files and running a console from there, so we won't have to worry about this, but I just wanted to point this out just so you know how this works. If I would type in Python and I would hit Enter, it would basically take me into what's called the Python shell or the Python interpreter. These little arrows here mean that I'm in the Python interpreter. So if I'd say like print, if I do that, which is actually the Python three way, let's see what happens here. And it actually works. And I can also do, I think the old way would just be like this. That would be the old way with 2.7. Now, I want to get out of this right now because we're not going to be working in 2.7. And to get out of the interpreter or the prompt, you can type quit, and you have to put the parentheses. If you don't, it'll say use quit with the parentheses. So I'll make sure I use quit with the parentheses. And now I'm back in my bash console. So, so the bash is kind of when you're just kind of interacting with your main directory. It's kind of all in the console here or the terminal. That Python Anywhere kind of uses console and terminal kind of interchangeably. But basically, when you're working Bash, you're, you're writing commands. They're almost like Linux commands that are interacting with your directory. And then when you go into an interpreter, you're actually getting this little prompt here, and you could put in Python commands. Now, we're not going to work like that because it's not real helpful. But one thing you can do is you can actually print out or run source Python files in here when you do that. Now, one thing, let me just point this out too. If I say Python 3.8, and you have to put the dot in there, you have to put 3.8, and I hit enter or return. Now I can go into the interpreter for Python 3.8. Now it won't look any different than what I was doing here other than it won't print this out. If I put print and I didn't put parentheses here, I don't think it would work. If I do it like that, I'm gonna get an error because there's no parentheses. It needs parentheses in 3.8. It did it like that in 2.7. And there's some other differences too that aren't really that important right now. Although when we do some division, there's some division things with floor division and all that that we'll talk about. If I wanted to print this out, I would have to do it this way in the 3.8 way and just print this out. Now, obviously this is pretty boring just doing stuff like that, but, but that'll work. And it's just giving me output. So you're basically doing a command, Python command, and you're getting output right here. And that's what you do in the interpreter or the shell as they call it, the Python shell. And if you wanna get out of the Python shell, just put in quit with parentheses. So I'll quit out of that and now I'm back to bash right now. Now I'm gonna stay in this and I'll just show you something. Now I wanna open up a file. One thing I'm gonna do here that I can do in here, but we can also do it in the files area is I'm gonna do something, I'll use another command called make dir, which is make a directory. We're gonna make a directory in here and I'm just going to make a directory called CSC 121. I'll use all lowercase because that'll be easier than worrying about capital letters or anything. So I'm going to make a directory called CSC 121 and then I'll hit enter. Now if I say ls, I'm still in my HOMA RCN directory. I didn't go into that directory. I just made a folder. It's just like if you make a folder. So if I go ls right now, it says I have readme text just like I had up here, but now I have a new folder called CSC 121, and I can tell it's a folder because it doesn't have an extension on it. Now, now that I made that folder, I'm gonna go over here to files. Now, I'm gonna click on here first, and I'm gonna right click. When I'm on a laptop, I control click on a Mac, but you're gonna right click and open a new tab so we can have both of these open. So I'm gonna click on here, and I'll say open in a new tab. And here's my files, and there's a directory I just made. So in my bash console, I made a directory with mkdir, all together, no space in there, and I made a folder. Now, I could have just made a directory in here, but I chose to do it in my Bash console, just so you know how to do that, that's fine. We're not gonna be doing a lot in there, but I think in the beginning it's good to know that. So now, if I wanna go into this directory here in Python Anywhere, I'll click on it. 
Now there's no files in here and I'm going to make a file and it says enter a new file name example hello.py. Now let's make a file called hello.py. We'll just do that. Now we don't have to do hello world or anything like that, but I'll put hello.py and py means it's going to be a Python source file and I'll put new file. Now when I do that, it's going to basically open us up in this code editor. And this is where we want to work. And even if we're working in Replit or another IDE, we'll have a code editor and then we'll have output. Now the output won't be over here. The output will be down here in the bottom. And it'll actually open up a console down here. It'll be a bash console down here when we output. So just for example, I'll just start something real quick. We'll start a, a basic file here and I'm going to make a variable and I'm going to call it I1 and I'm going to say equals and I'll give it a number and I'll say 100 and that's a variable that's basically I1 represents 100 now I can't start a variable with a number I start it with a letter which is an I and I'll make another one and I'll call it I2 and this one will be 3 so we have two numbers here that are represented by those variables and then I'll make another variable and I'll just call it S1 this will just be kind of a statement here. We'll just call it hello CSC 121 and we'll put it in quotes. So I don't need any parentheses in here. So what I have here is an integer 100, an integer 3, and a string with quotes because that's how we make a string called hello CSC 121. Now we didn't do anything yet and I could save this if I want. I could save what I'm working on. This is my hello.py and if I want to print something out, let's print a couple things out here. I'll just make an extra space and I'll put a comment just so we understand what a comment is in Python, just like other languages will have comments with slashes and things like that. We're going to use the pound sign for comment and we'll just say, you know, output or these are really print statements, I should say, but we'll just put that there and then we'll print something out and we'll print out some division. We'll print out I1 divided by I2. So I'll do I1 slash I2 and we'll print that out. And then I can also print out S1. So what will happen here is we'll print out this division problem and we'll print out this string, which should just say hello CSC 121. So those are two print statements. Print is a built-in function in Python. Now I can run it in here, but before I do that, I just want to point this out because it will run down here. I just want to save this and I want to go back to my console and I want to run it from my console. So I'm going to go down here and run it. Now the way you run it, you run it from the bash console. You don't go into your shell to run it you actually run it outside in the bash console so I'm gonna run it and say Python 3.8 that means I'm using that language and that software that's installed here on the cloud you could install it on your own computer and then I'm gonna run the file and the file is called hello.py and when I hit my enter return key it should run the output of that file now let's see what happens Oh, that's not good, but it does say I have a, like an error here. It says no such file directory. Well, I just made it. Where is it? Well, you should know already that I did that on purpose because we're not in that directory. We're in, if you go back here, this file is in CSE 121 and in our bash console, we're working in the HOMA RCN or whatever your username is. So it's not seeing that file. So if you want to see that file, you could go down here. You could do one of two things. You can, I'm going to hit my up arrow and it'll kind of repeat that and then I'll backspace and I'll just put CSC 121 and then a slash and then hello.py because then it'll go to that directory from where I'm at and run hello.py and I'll just hit enter and there's our output. We get a number, a float here of 33.333 and then we have our string outputting here. So that's working. Now another way to do that, you could just go into that directory using CD cd is change directory and before i do that let me do see if i could do control l will take me to the top now i didn't delete anything it just took me to the top here and even though it says python don't worry about that uh, because we're going to indicate what python so don't worry about that so i'm going to go back to the top and what i'll do here is i'll say cd and i'll put csc 121 now this that's change directory so now i'm going to change my directory and i'll hit enter now I'm in that directory. Now my prompt is from that directory. And just if you're not sure, do ls. So you don't have to know a whole bunch of commands, just a couple. CD ls means list the contents of that. And it's saying there's hello.py in that folder. So I'm in the right folder. So now if I want to run it, I just go Python 3.8 and then a space. And now I could just do hello.py because I'm in that directory. I don't have to put the folder. I'm in that folder now. Now if I run it, it'll do that.
So I just want to point that out because you may have to do that whether you're using VS Code because you can run VS Code on your home computer or if you're doing something, even if you run things from Terminal or PowerShell on your own, you should know how to work your way in the bash a little bit, in the console, terminal, whatever term you use for that. But knowing your way around command line a little bit is, is helpful. Uh, we even use that when we use databases and stuff like that. So that's kind of a, a little intro to that. Now, we don't necessarily have to work in here. And again, that's called running the source file. Now, we don't have to do it that way because it's not real helpful because we're going back and forth. In fact, I'm even going to close this up. I'll close it up right now. Or I could, I could say quit if I want to. Or actually, I'm not going to say quit. Quit is to get out of the interpreter. If I do quit, that doesn't work. Actually, what I want to do here, I think, is exit. And because there was like another line there, let me type exit again. See, I should have looked at the notes. I have it I have it here in the notes. That's how I got out of there. So it's quit with parentheses to get out of the interpreter, which doesn't work for here, but exit to get out of the bash console. Now it's closed, but it doesn't close the window. So I'll just close the window and I'm back here now. Now what's gonna be easier is just running it from here. You could just save and run the file. And now you can see it's it's loading an interpreter here and it's printing it out here. Now you could do more stuff, but we just want our output. So this is one place where we could do all of this, but I just wanted you to be familiar with the Bash console. Now from here on out, we'll do some things in here and then we'll eventually be using the Replit IDE as well, only because we can't do turtles in here. And I like to work with the turtles somewhat and GUI things like TK Inter and stuff. And we can't do that in Python anywhere. We can only do pretty much console output, this kind of output down here. But we will start out with this. And like I said, you can share your files with me. You don't have to do anything. I could just go in and look at your files once I know your username. I think I get an email. So I'm going to stop here with part one and then I'm just going to do a little bit more Python with part two for this little introduction.